trying to create bridges between my culture, the Arabic culture, and the local culture. I take something from here, for example, and then I would translate into Arabic, and then I would paint into in Arabic. That's a way for me to connect my culture and the culture of the place where I'm painting. Big, great, big changes. Yes. I like some of it, but not all of it. Since I moved here, I feel like the, the community has gotten a lot more congested. Yes. A block above, there were a lot of abandoned homes. Yes. Homes, and they tore them all down and put a lot of apartment buildings in there. I know PEC has, has a long, is it 40 years? How 45. Many? 45 years wow. mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. So that's a long time. You've done some amazing, amazing work. We thought maybe you could give him a little bit of insight that would just inform his approach and making uh, of, of the mural. Actually, Rodney would be a good person for you to connect with because he could connect you with the principal at Paul Ropes in High School. The school was slated to be closed at one point, right? We all fought Tell him what to, did. to keep it open. We were, um, we were at every testimony and hearing, um, and we even did a march up Market Street. Um, to really grasp all the businesses and residents that were, that were out there and they all supported us. And our sister school, which was University City, um, they had all their students also, so we all, we fought together. They really made something powerful happen. Okay. Um, although it eventually led to... University City High actually got demolished. Right. Okay. It's right here at 36 and Filbert. Mm -hmm. So that was a school that was built as a part of um, my understanding of a part of gentrification in the neighborhood, in the Black Bottom. They built that school, right, as a gift to the community to take over the space and push the residents out okay. to build the Science Center. Like the Avenue was just like New York. Yes. And 52nd Street, all those places were mm -hmm. nice. And then by, uh, you know, they went down. My name is Artie. Okay, Artie. I'm Stuart Brown. I'm from the Black Bottom. Yay! West 33rd Street. 33rd. Well, from 35th and Wallace. I went to all of the neighborhood schools and, uh, and have found that there is a richness that we sometimes ignore, especially those of us who were not raised in this area. When my parents moved into West Philadelphia originally, around Padilla Spruce, it was a white neighborhood. Up the mm -hmm. way. And then immediately, most of the white people left. It was mm -hmm. white flight. I've seen this neighborhood go through tremendous change. Mm -hmm. But over time, when the demographics changed, the money changed. They started leaving. So now you're starting to see the money come back into the neighborhood. But, not but the, the, right, and the demographics are changing, but the people, a lot of the people who are here now are going to be priced out. Can you do me a favor? Can we? Could you put something religious on that wall? Huh? Religious. religious. What do you want me to put? Maybe Christ. Jesus so Christ? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all so sisters and brothers. How about right. saying That's that? We're all sisters sister sister and brothers. We are. Fill it up and you are welcome. So this it was the bar with the two-story apartment over it, right here. This yeah. is that building right here. And it was called the Preston Bar. And then the bar pretty much ran just about to where the paint is for. So it was a small apartment that wrapped around the bar. So what do you want to put up? Uh, actually, I'm, I'm writing a quote from Dubois. Okay. Uh, but translated into Arabic. It will be here and as well here. On oh, this building too? Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck. So, thank you. Thank you very much. is that something is going to be placed in our community that sure. we have to live with sure. regardless of your concept. Yeah. You know, so it has to be something that's amenable to the community. Definitely. And, and people, that's what and uh, the most of the conversation I get is that it has to be reflective of this neighborhood, which was called the bottom. Yeah. That is no longer the bottom. It's just what now is University City. Yeah, the kids, they were cool, like they came and uh, to visit from Paul Robson School. Uh, they painted with me and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next days. I 
write it here so you know your name is here. Right, so right. every day you come by here, say, hey, my name was here. That's, That's nice. nice, then uh, I make me feel like I'm famous. <laughs> So what happens here? I'm gonna put the soul of the black bottom right there. In like what color do you think? A mix of this and this. Okay. I'm one of the legacies of the original black bottom family. When I met El Said, the artist, he explained to me how he does his work, showed me some of his work from Egypt and Cairo, and I understood. Um, we did talk about where we are now physically is still in the black bottom, and if they could incorporate the concept of the black bottom somewhere within the frame of what he does, we would appreciate it. And he has indeed put in soul of the black bottom. Just one week ago, um, several of my neighbors and friends um, gathered in my living room. When the discussion started, we wanted the artist to understand the journey that had transformed this part of West Philadelphia, the pride of place that united families of the Black Bottom, and the history of the vibrancy of the 40 Street Quarter of the past. The mural itself is abstract. It's designed to catch the eye and provoke thought and designate this locale as a, vib a vibrant and complete area in the midst of transformation. Thank you. 